All right, gang, here we go. Treasure hunting. And if you can tell, out in this weather, we will not be using a metal detector. No, this is a different type of treasure hunting. Uh, back long ago, I used to have a side business where we do house cleanouts. And basically what that is, is you would charge a nominal fee for the removal of junk. Stuff that people have no interest in owning no more. Like a crammed attic or basement or we have you. Basically I would haul the stuff, trash what would need to be trashed, salvage what needs to be salvaged, resell what could be resold, and then donated the remainder. Anyway, a uh, buddy of mine said, hey, I have the attic of a garage that has been touched for decades. He goes, I know you used to be into this stuff. He says, I don't know if you'd want to take a look at it. I said, look at it. Yes, I would. Anyway, so we're headed there now. And like I said, different kind of treasure hunting. Never know what you're going to find. So stay tuned. All right, gang. Well, this is it. Waiting for the focus. Focus. Anyway, I don't think it's going to focus. And there we go. That's better. So we got all this stuff to look at. Could be exciting. And uh, anyway, if you guys see anything, give a shout out. Well, we're going to try to haul the majority of this stuff out. Take a look at it and see what treasures we got. So stay tuned. All right, gang, here we got stuff from the house clean out, the attic clean out. And as you can see, we got some dead relatives. And we got some stuff we're going to take a closer look at. And a little bit of potpourri of some oddities. And even a relative's temporary grave marker. Ooh. A bit bizarre. Don't know why you'd want to save it, but they did. And we had a vacation out to California. And we have some patriotic stuff. Now this guy here is rather interesting. Looks to be a World War I sailor. I don't know if you can notice it or not, but he served on the USS Connecticut. And we have some sort of type of ribbon. And some more ancestors of somebody. And we have the sailor again. And 
some unidentified soldier. gang here we are with a treasure hunting tip it is mild I should be out there metal detecting but I need to come to you to bring you this tip oh it is mild it is wonderful out here a short sleeve shirt folk and uh, we are here to bring you this that what is this as you have already seen, this is a silver Franklin half. What is this? Part of this is my dad's January silver finds. Dear old dad does not own a metal detector. How can this be? You know, he was beating me in January with silver finds. Dad, how can this be? Dad says, son, Coinstar. Coinstar. What? Yes, Coinstar. Ready? Here, this is what it looks like. Pop. Ah, that machine. Oh, you've seen those. Yeah, usually they're at their local Walmart or your grocery store. Ah, we've been by them. Hey, some of us have even used them. Basically, Coinstar. You dump your bucket full of spare change in it. It counts it out. It spits out a receipt. Take that receipt over to the customer service desk, and they will give you cold, hard cash minus a nominal fee. I think it's like nine cents on the dollar. However, Coinstar has a reject pocket. It's a little plastic pocket that looks like something you would see on a vending machine that spits out your change. Well, this little pocket on the Coinstar machine kicks out certain things. All your crusty zincans, paper clips, oddly enough, silver currency. Oh. So next time you're at a supermarket, you're just kind of walking by, check that pocket. Hmm. So, is that pocket worth checking, you may be thinking. That, in silver, adds up. We'll just give you a couple quick prices. Uh, these prices are brought to you today, eleven twenty-nine. That Franklin half right now is worth $5.06. Silver quarter, $2.53. And... A silver dime is at a dollar one. Dimes and quarters. Half. It adds up. There's probably about maybe 50 bucks here, roughly. Uh, I could have really broken it down for you, but eh, I'm not going to make it that easy on you. you got to do some of the work. But these prices come to you by Coinflation.com. Great site. Basically what it does, takes the value of this in silver and breaks it down for you. Great site. Anyway, and don't forget to check out Riser's Treasure Hunting Emporium website and also Riser's Treasure Hunting Emporium Facebook page. Oh, the links can be found right down there. And 
if you also want to check out, I'll include right down there a link to Coinflation. Makes it easy, makes it quick. And anyway, stay tuned and more treasure hunting to come. Alrighty, that's all we have for this episode, but hey, it'd be appreciated if you click like. If you want to see more, click subscribe. Alright, folks, have a good day. Get out there and find your treasure. Bye.